What you're looking at is the Riccati equation, which is a first-order nonlinear differential equation that has general solutions that are derived online through a bunch of substitutions. But today I'm going to show you how you can find a solution in terms of the Bernoulli equation to solve the equation given that you know a particular solution. So we'll start with some prerequisites that I'm going to be using prime notation instead of Leibniz just to show derivatives on top of just not using the of x here, uh, just to assume that all functions are really of x. One to start, we know that all solutions have a particular part added with a homogeneous part. And what that means is that if you were to rearrange equation one, we would get y prime minus q of x y minus r of y squared is equal to p. So if we had a solution and we input it in here and we got our equation p, that would be our particular solution, our y of 1. But our homogeneous solution would be when we set this p to 0, which if you are acquainted with differential equations, you will know that this is just the Bernoulli equation, which is why I use z of x. The reason this is, is that because it can be returned back to a linear first order equation via the substitution z equals y of 1 minus n, where our n is the power right here. So for our case, it's 2, and we get 1 over y. So while I'm not going to show anything more about the Bernoulli equation, I simply wanted to show that it is, in fact, the Bernoulli equation. So how we get to this equation is by simply implementing equation 2 and substituting this equation into 1. So what we do is we say the derivative of the particular solution plus a homogeneous z with respect to x is equal to p plus q of y particular plus z plus r times y particular plus z squared. So from here, all we have to do is factor this out and distribute our, P, our Q and R and use linearity to show that these two are just um, the derivatives of each other added. So my particular prime plus homo the homogeneous solution prime, which is equal to P plus Q, Y particular plus Q of Z plus R y particular squared plus 2 r y particular z plus r z squared. While this looks messy, what we can do is actually make a qualitative assumption about our equation. And that's that these four terms here, when added together here, make some function we'll say s of x such that when we subtract it from our y prime, we get 0. Now, while this is a bold claim, this is in fact true. But if you are not convinced, another thing we can do is that we can say that we want to move these four terms over to the left and move this over to the right. So what we'll do is just that. We'll say y particular prime minus qy prime minus R y particular prime minus p, which is equal to negative z prime plus q plus 2r y particular, and then we're, we're going to factor out this z here, and you'll see why in a moment, plus r of z squared. What you'll notice here is that this is actually just a Bernoulli equation, again. <laughs> With this, we know that this equation in particular, when we uh, take a minus and we uh, multiply by negative one, we get the general solution z of x, or my bad, the homogeneous solution. So we know that this must equal zero, because if this is the homogeneous solution, 
its form must always be equal to zero. Therefore, these four terms simply get canceled out. And what we're left with when we go back to our previous equation is we remove these four terms here and we're left with z prime is equal to q of z plus 2r y particular z plus r z squared. So what we're going to go ahead and do is move this over to the left hand side, leave this, and factor out the z. So we say that z prime minus q plus 2r y particular z is equal to r z squared, which is exactly what we were looking for and is our general solution of the Riccati equation in terms of the Bernoulli equation and its particular solution.